Hello guys, welcome to my new YouTube video for today. As you can see by the title of this video, reacting to Console Wars, Mortal Kombat, Super Nintendo vs Sega Genesis. Um, I've seen this video before like two years ago, but uh, I would like to reintroduce it again because this video is really good at saying the differences between the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis version of the original Mortal Kombat game. And if you don't mind me, I'll be pausing at moments and talk about my opinion and like to see like the differences. I'll be watching this video with you guys together. I'll leave the video description on the description below, like the link on the, on the description below, in case you guys want to see this video for yourself. And let's get to it. Get wrecked, Raiden. Get wrecked, Sonya. Get wrecked, Sonya in, in Genesis version. Sub Zero wins. His video is really great. Um, like I said, I watched it like a couple years ago, and it's really good. Two years ago, I think. Mortal Kombat, one of the most popular fighting game franchises of all time. First released in the arcade, Mortal Kombat gained popularity due to its over-the-top violence. Violence that was not only recognized by gamers, but by Congress as well. The game played its part in having games receive an ESRB rating. Mortal Kombat was actually the first game to receive a mature rating. That's right. It was actually first developed to be a game based on action star Jean-Claude Van Damme. But that didn't work out. And the end result was the first Mortal Kombat game released in 1992. It wasn't long before it was brought to the home consoles, specifically the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. Which one was better? Let's find out. I actually like the SNES version because it's the one I grew up with. The graphics gotta go to Sega because it looks just like the arcade game. No, the graphics on the Super Nintendo look more like the arcade game. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Surely they would have made two games that looked exactly the same for two different systems. Did they? Of course they did. Now that you mention it, these games actually do look alike. See, the difference that I see is the backgrounds for the Sega version, they had to like make the backgrounds disappear. I'm guessing to like save space. upon closer inspection, it looks as though Super Nintendo's graphics are a little sharper and more clear. And the characters are bigger. Sega, which is also good, I'm using air quotes here, looks slightly blurry. I mean, it's good, but... They had to delete some of the background for space, I guess, like you know I said. What? I'm not going to argue with you. You're absolutely right. Graphics do look better for Super Nintendo. I actually want to buy a Sega Genesis to, like, play Mortal Kombat. Like, I actually want to buy the Sega Genesis to play this game. It's what? I think it's called Sweat. Like, they actually name it Sweat on this one, on the Super Nintendo. Uh, it is. But why? With its clearly superior graphics, why would Nintendo mess up something as simple as blood? That's because Nintendo wanted their version to be more kid-friendly. So in order to reduce the violence, the blood was made gray and no longer Here, let me blood, put the volume up. No blood in a Mortal Kombat game. It's called Sweat on this version. It's just not right. It's like... No sun at the beach. Like no winter with your summer. It's like Robin and no Batman. Like Luigi and no Mario. Tails and no Sonic. It's not even like that. <laughs> and no aquarium? Abby Meal? And no toys? A wedding? And nothing to drink? Is it? With no cheese? Is it? Is it? Is it?
It's for the censorship. They changed it from Mortal Kombat 2, obviously. Are you crying? <laughs> no, silly. It's just gray sweat. See, no, sweat. Sega needs a blood code before it even has blood. Otherwise, yep. your game is lamer than mine. It still looks good, I'm not gonna lie. Poor Nintendo. Everyone knows that blood code. It's the same as the Genesis album. Sure, Super Nintendo has sharper graphics, looks brighter, and even clearer. But without blood, I'm afraid you're missing one of the key components of what made more. Let me stop it right here. Do you guys see this? Okay, for the Super Nintendo and the arcade version, obviously, the fighters fight like on the gray line on, on the circle around here, right? But for the Sega version, they said, what if we fight on the, uh, not on the other, other side, but like off the gray pavement? So now they're fighting like off the pavement right here, because instead of fighting right here, they're just fighting next to it. I just found out that like a year ago, seeing a picture, and it's funny, I'm not gonna lie. So special. Graphics go to Sega. I say both. I say both. Oh, you've already admitted that the graphics look better on Super Nintendo. And since both games are the same, regardless of blood, Presentation's got to go to Super Nintendo. The menus look nicer. There's animation during character bios. Animations after some fights. The rating clap. Rating clap. Shang Tsung clap. These games don't really have cutscenes, so Super Nintendo's presentation is way better. If you have epileptic seizures, don't watch that part. Bios, I have these detailed original drawings. Let's just compare the two different endings. Sega's ending isn't just words scrolling up a screen. It's words carved into stone. One of those original pictures. It's a better presentation. The TV game so had these endings. two crappy pictures. I might have let you win graphics because of the blood. But with a nicer, clearer look, presentation's gotta go to the Super Nintendo. Do you guys agree? What about the best sound? People are saying that the Sega Genesis is better. Yes, you got music from the arcade. Yep, so do I. But which one sounds better? Let's compare. Back to back, I think it's obvious that the quality of the Super Nintendo is better than Sega. I mean, the Nintendo version has the the arcade version, right? Yep, I think it sounds better on both, honestly. Just that the Nintendo has like, like, even though the music kind of is kind of wacky, but cl close to, to, to the arcade, right? Finish it. Only some. Most of the Super Nintendo characters have voiceover. <laughs> Even the ones that the Sega doesn't. Are you from LA? Since you don't have as many voiceovers and your music quality isn't as good, best sound was the Super Nintendo. I don't know, but. Well, I did grow up with the SNES version, but I think that the second version also has great music right. too. Time to finish you. How many buttons does Sega have? Three. So what do you say? Don't be so modest. You have four with the start button. Wait a minute. Doesn't Mortal Kombat have five moves? High punch. Low punch. Of course. High, High kick, kick and low kick. Low kick. And sweep, right? And the sweep. Of course, block. A block, okay. However, do you do five moves with four buttons? Hmm? Well, I use 
the D-pad for the different punches. The D-pad? What, what is this? The Middle Ages? And also, how do you pause if start is block? Hey, you can't pause during a fight either. No, but I can pause in between fights. I hear that people don't like the SNES uh, controller. <laughs> Or soda for me. Hey, can you get me one? I would, but I'm already back. <laughs> Why don't you get your own? That bottle is so empty. What? That run though. Oh, Flawless victory right there. Yep, sensor fatalities. I mean, if you don't have blood, how do your fatalities work? They work just fine. But what about the ones with blood? I don't know why for the Sega, the heart is extremely bigger than the arcade wow. version. Look, he's holding nothing. That doesn't look like a heart. <laughs> He took his soul, that's what happened. Like was Liu Kang said. Kick to the chest and nothing happened. That's lame. Once again, due to your lack of blood, you're missing one of the core elements of this franchise. I could never do Raiden's fatality, it was so hard. And Liu Kang's fatality is really hard too. It's like watching Scarface on basic cable. It's just not right. You don't have blood. You don't have all the fatalities, and you don't even punch people in the nuts. <laughs> you can actually spam that move with Johnny Cage. Well, since both games won two categories each, we need to decide a winner. I think there's no dispute. I say both. Best Mortal Kombat game goes to Sega. What? We don't have blood or fatalities. Those are kind of important. In Mortal it's Kombat. still fun, though. So blood is gray sweat, <laughs> and a few of the fatalities are missing. Yep. Super Nintendo still has a better game with superior graphics and sound to boot. Still, without the blood and the fatalities, it's not really Mortal Kombat. It's just regular combat. Regular combat. That's it. We're gonna have our own Mortal Kombat now. Just you and me. All right. If that's what's gonna take to convince you. <laughs> Alright, Nintendo vs Sega, who's gonna win? Oh, I got all that ketchup. <laughs> Is that a marshmallow? Yeah, it's a marshmallow. Gummy worms. Yeah. So what if the SNES is more censored? It's still, it's still a fun game. What the heck is that? Chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> Joy. I like almond joys. What the heck? It's just not the same when you replace the blood. It's still fun. And there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time guys, peace.